So you want to generate more sales with your ads, you want to start learning how to run conversions campaigns, then I got you in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you guys can set up a conversion campaign and start generating more sales. Let's get into it. So this is how you create a conversions ad campaign. So you're going to click this green create button right here. And they give you all the campaign objectives over here. You want to select conversions. Continue. Um, you want to name your campaign. I always like to name my campaign after what I'm selling dash, you know, the type of campaign that it is. So let's just say I'm selling um body butter or something i don't know i just thought of that body butter dash conversions something like that um yeah and then we want to go into the ad set level now so this is the campaign level this would be the ad level and this is the ad level so <clears throat> When you get here, you can name your ad to name. I like to name my ad to name um, what I'm targeting. So this is just a, an example with a dummy account. So I'm not necessarily targeting anything, but whatever I would be targeting. And when I mean targeting, I mean, you know, here, whichever demographic or interest or behavior I was targeting, I would name that here. So for this, we're going to have to select a pixel. So for you, your pixel should be set up and should be optimized. If not, I will be creating a video if I don't have it already about how to create your pixel. Um, so yeah, this is not a this is a dummy account. We don't use it anymore. So I can't select any of these two, but you would select one of these, one of your pixels, and you would put it there, and your pixel is going to be able to track all these different conversions. And here is your budget. You can set your budget to whatever whatever you would like. Um, and yes, this is where you can do your placements. You can do manual placements or you can do automatic placements. That is totally your preference. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing here would be the pixel. And then after you select your pixel, this should, um, it should be good to go. Oh yeah, so I actually just selected this. I didn't even know it would work. <clears throat> so now this is where you choose a conversion event. Right. So you would have set up these different events where you can do in the events manager, and then you would select which conversion that you want to track. So if I want to, if I want to track every time someone adds their payment info, if I want to track every time someone adds something to their cart, if I want to track every time someone adds something to their wish list, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what we do here. So for this, let's just put complete registration. And then, so I don't have these conversions set up, but you will go to your events manager and set up these conversions. So you wouldn't have this. And then on the ad level, um, same thing, you would select your page, name the ad, whatever the ad is. If it's a video, if it's a picture, just name it something that you can remember. Um, you can either create an ad or you can use an existing post, add your stuff, um, your text. This is where your, your caption will go, your headline right here. Um, and your website URL right here so it can track. And of course, your call to action. So uh, yeah, that is how that is how you set up a conversion campaign. Hope hope this helped you guys. Um, and like and subscribe for more.